Okay, what is the meaning of taqlid? What is the meaning of taqlid and what it is ruling for non-scholars? Taqlid is the root word from the qalada. Qalada is a belt normally put into the neck of the animal so that when you walk, the animal will follow you. That's the actual literal meaning. When it comes to the religion, it means that you have to bound yourself. This is how the definition is. You have to bound yourself with the belt of blind following of any sheikh, any mulvi, any mufti. That means whatever the mufti says, you have to blindly follow him, go by it. That means that understanding of uh, accepting the Molvi blindly, that is the belt that you have put into your neck of that. And this is how the general people are following, the non-scholars. Okay. Now, I agree. Some people are saying, you know, I can't read Arabic. I don't have access to the Quran and Hadith. And I don't even understand the Quran and Hadith. So I have to follow the scholars. I say, good. If you are that easy and a simple guy, man and a woman, then stick to your level. Stick to your level. But honestly speaking, my brothers and sisters, such kind of people who say, oh, I can't understand this, I can't understand, but when they come to the argument, they become more, you know, great scholars than the other muftis. They will try to argue with you as if they are biggest scholars. They will say, no, this madhab is right. The other madhab is wrong. Come on, man. Just now you said you can't understand Quran and Hadith. Now you are saying the others are wrong. That means you know both of this madhab properly, perfectly, and you know what which is right and which is wrong. Then you are not a jahil. So, it's very simple. These guys, may Allah guide them. They think that the, I, I know a sheikh of mine, subhanAllah, a great scholar. I still, till today, I respect him like a father. Till today, I respect him like a father. And his father was Mufti of Karachi. He was Mufti of Karachi. When his father died, he took the position. He is Hafiz of the Quran. He has got the Ijaz of the Ten Qirat. He was graduate from Mecca and Medina universities. He was also graduate from Azhar University. And mashallah, he was Imam and Khatib in Sharjah. And I used to be his student. And more, many, of, uh, many of a time, we, both of us, him and me, we used to come on Sharjah ch channel for Urdu programs. And occasionally, because I was as outspoken student of his, very close to him and very straightforward, I asked him, I said, Sheikh Saab, MashaAllah, Allah SWT has blessed you with all these skills, all the knowledge and everything, and still you follow, you know, one particular school of thought blindly. And you know that this is a fatwa of your sheikh. It's not the Quran that you are following. It's not the hadith that you are following. And the other school of thought, they have got authentic hadith which, you know, rejects and refutes the fatwa of your sheikh. Your, your imam, your school of thought. Wallahi, I swear upon Allah. My sheikh told me that Beta Abdul Majid or dear son or respected son of Abdul Majid I have no choice. I have to follow my madhab. I can't go beyond the understanding of my sheikhs. So this is the scholar who is admitting it. But when these idiots, jail people who are following one particular madhab, they don't even know what Quran is. They don't know what hadith is. They bring the scholars fundamentals and usul this, usul that, usul that. And then they bring this book and that book of that scholars. And they talk and they argue and they say, ah, this you must be, for, you know, must have been uh, studied. If you want to argue and debate, then you must argue, you must have a qualification of madrasa, you must have studied from one particular madrasa, you must have scholarly, you know, degree and co course that you have done. And they, so subhanAllah, if you talk directly from Quran and Hadith and you understand Arabic, you understand the text of the Quran, you understand the aqwal of the ulama, and then when you put this argument to them, they don't want to debate you or they don't want to discuss with you because you are not farik from the madrasa. You have not studied from Darul Ulum. You have not taken the uh, dars e and uh, all that kind of thing. So they don't credit you anything and they, they, they still they stick to the... I say good luck to them. So... Coming back to this, if you follow one madhab, stick to that. Good luck to you. I don't mind. But don't try to act smart to refute others 
where just by following blindly your mother, which you don't know even how to relieve to correctly from the to in the toilet, and then you come and refute other people's mother, and they refute and give the fatwa to them. You are this and you are that. So this is this is taqlid, this is taqlid, which these people are following. And on the day of judgment, Allah will say, "Who's your Rasul?" They will say, "La ilaha illallah." So and so is my Rasulullah. When Allah will ask me, "Who is my Rasul?" I will say, "La ilaha illallah." Muhammad Rasulullah because I, I do the taqlid of Allah and His Rasul Alhamdulillah